as as part of KTMS, we are now standing at Barika Express. We are we are feeling very delighted here. Uh, as we are seeing this highly automated system to monitor all the traffic condition, to monitor all the traffic violations, could you please briefly explain us about this uh, new ATMS, which is going to be the very first? We can also congratulate you all for this 56 point something kilometer stretch. Yeah. So, uh, good morning. Uh, so, uh, I think we. We are also very uh, delighted to welcome all the media person here in this uh, ATMS control room center in Dwarka Expressway. So, as you just said, it is the first project in India uh, which has been uh, uh, ATMS project in India, which is based on the latest NHI ATMS guideline, October 2023. So, as you just rightly mentioned, this uh, particular project of ATMS covers uh, approximately 56 kilometers uh, uh, of uh, NH8 section of Gurgaon and uh, the entire Dwarka Expressway uh, 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 project. Right. So uh, there are uh, various components of ATMS uh, project which have been covered in this project. Though the salient component would be like uh, the TMCS, the traffic monitoring uh, con uh, ca cameras, which are uh, the PTC cameras basically. Second would be the wide, the video incident and detection enforcement system, which would be the more or less the ANPR, high end NPR cameras. Uh, third component would be the VMS, so which in uh, the variable message signs through which we would like to communicate to the road user about the various incidents which are happening on the on the highways. And one would uh, fourth one would be the VASD, a vehicle actuated speed display system through which we want to uh, sensitize the uh, vehicle about their current speed, which we can uh, place on the gantries or the about the speed display. So more or less this is the component, as you can see, the, uh, we have already installed more than 110 PTZ cameras which basically serve the purpose of surveillance. So basically uh, there are uh, on an average two cameras on this particular stretch, every kilometer. So uh, uh, about the wide component, there are around 15 uh, different gantries which we have installed in which uh, every lane has an ANPI camera and an overweight camera. So through this we are able to detect approximately 14 uh, you know, different types of incident, which also includes the overspeed, no seat belt, triple riding, banned vehicle, etc. So these are all uh, charnable incident, which are as per the Motor Vehicle Act. And what we have done is also, we have completed the integration with the NIC e Chalan portal through which we can share this the the, the incident uh, violation to the concerned police department. Particularly, this project uh, we have uh, already written to the, uh, the Gurugram police uh, uh, to start. Uh, the uh, action because the enforcement action is something which is not under the purview of NHI. It has to be taken by the respective law enforcement agency. So we have already written to them and we are also in touch with them to quickly start the and uh, the uh, chalan for uh, chalaning the vehicle or the violators. So this is the uh, part and that's it. I mean uh, the, this is we are happy to uh, uh, I mean uh, uh, take a key. And this is a very yeah. nascent technology. So as of now, how do you see its future? Uh, future from now? And apart from uh, tracking out the traffic violations over the expressway, apart from uh, foreseeing the uh, traffic violations, I can say, uh, how you are doing to decrease out and discourage people to violate the traffic? So this is actually a very good question. See, see the the. From uh, NHI point of view, uh, uh, what we can do is uh, we have various uh, uh, information uh, uh, dissemination program about the road safety program. Uh, we also conduct a lot of uh, road safety week every week. So uh, uh, through ATMS, we would also like to generate a, uh, a public awareness or general awareness among the citizen or the specifically the road user about the uh, road safety. But having said that, uh, uh, we also see technology as an enabler for uh, re for meeting out the goal of road safety overview. So, uh, while uh, the the we are uh, placing high-end cameras uh, across the, I mean, I know, along the uh, highways, highways, the point is. Uh, Chalan, if we don't uh, take some uh, corrective or uh, measures uh, again the defaulter, uh, some way the road safety goal will not be achieved. So while road safety, we are doing the uh, two ways. I mean, while we are uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, try, trying to generate the public awareness, we are also trying to see how technology can enable road safety through this ATMS system. So that's it, uh, how we look at it.